Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Gabby and today I have another perfume haul. Yes, I know, I know that so many new releases, so many new fragrances, but there are some perfumes that are either a new release or I discovered them at Texans or we're bringing them on the website. Okay, so my perfect scent is going to stock some of these fragrances that you're going to see here. Okay. Um, yeah, I have just amazing fragrances to share with you and you can like make a list, just keep watching and then probably I'm going to have another one with new releases and new brands because we took more brands, okay, for the website and I want everyone to know about these amazing fragrances. Um, but yeah, this and I think there's another haul and then that's it. Like that's it. That's going to be it for a while, okay? Well, there's another fragrance that's coming that i know i know you're gonna fall in love for the spring and summer and that's everything that i'm gonna say okay that's everything i'm gonna say um yeah i've been involved with this fragrance okay um working on something that's gonna come out very 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 soon but Meanwhile, we're going to talk about the ones that we have in here, okay? Um, should we start? Let's start. I've got the first one. Not a new release, but fragrance that, again, was very popular, I think, a few years ago. And it was impossible to find in the UK. I really, really, really wanted it, but it was impossible. I'm talking about Frasai, and this one needs Taste and Do. Frasai in general, you couldn't find Frasai, Frasai in the UK. I believe we are, the, we are still the only website that carries Frasai. And I tested them at PT, I believe, last year. I think it was a PT Fragrance. Uh, last year in Florence. Yeah, it was in Florence. And I felt in love with the fragrances. So I was like, you know what? Let's bring the brand on the website. We already have Blondine, Afuego Lento, Verano Porteño, and then this one was sold out because from the moment when I saw it, I was like, we need this on the website, and they told us that it's sold out, but it's going to be available from 2024. Here it is. Let me spray it again. Taste and Do has some of the notes brown sugar, nutmeg, uh, juniper, rum, uh, bitter orange, leather. It's such an underrated fragrance. It's not a full-on gourmand for sure because it has a darkness from that leather, but it's not too much leather for sure. You're definitely getting the juniper berry. You're getting the orange with brown sugar and, and rum. Like imagine some leather, okay, but smooth leather. And then you have this aromatic orange with brown sugar mixed in with rum. This is what I'm getting. This is what I'm getting. It's a perfectly unisex gourmand. Like when we're talking about like more like masculine perfumes, this one is definitely more like a gourmand, but when we're not talking about uh, feminine perfumes, I will not necessarily categorize it as like a full on gourmand, but it definitely has something, something gourmandish about it, okay? It's a fragrance that you need to try. It's a fragrance perfect for like the colder weather. I know, I know, it's not it's spring, but in some parts of the world, it's still freezing cold, like in here. It's just, it's sexy, but it's cozy in the same time. Like the, that leather is like buttery, almost creamy. And then you're definitely, definitely getting that like rum with orange and it's a bit, it's like sweet as well. And the juniper makes sense because it's aromatic in the same time. It's like an aromatic orange. Love it. Absolutely love it. Um, yeah, it's it's a very unique fragrance. Everything that Frasai has to offer, it's very unique. Like, kind of takes, you know, like, like Blondine. It's like Lily of the Valley. Okay, but that one is dipped in butter. Um, you have, like, those fragrances, they, they have, like, notes that you can find in many other fragrances. But their take on that note is completely different than what's on the market all right so taste and do from frasai the next one it is a new release it's a new release i'm not really sure when i'm gonna 
pause this video if the fragrance is going to be available or not if it's not available yet obviously we're going to carry it on the website uh, but if it's not available yet it's going to be like very very soon i'm talking about the newest release from lorenzo pazzaglia and this is sangria yes like the drink sangria but it's written is like sun and then gria i tasted it at Sans and felt in love this is gonna be amazing this is gonna be amazing for the summer time sangria if you don't know it's this like wine drink with lots and lots of fruits it does have a wine note i'm gonna tell you some of the notes it has red wine it has um grapes it has black currant raspberry apple vanilla two types of vanilla actually it has sugar it has pretty much every single fruit that you can think of and then it has every single citrus that you can think of i think it has like lemon bergamot orange blood orange all of those it smells like sangria it's like but it's not too much wine like do not think it's gonna be like a wine perfume no but it has that winey quality texture but it's like just like an explosion of fruits all mixing together with all of these citruses is delicious it's mouth-watering like i love spain like a person i love spain and i love sangria this is like the sweetest sangria that you ever had with less wine like yeah know the wine is there but that doesn't smell like wine like it gives you the sangria without the wine and the fruits like amplified, if that makes sense. It's delicious, it's delicious, it's delicious, it's amazing. I love it, I love it, I love it. Um, obviously it's boozy, but it's not really boozy because I don't know how to explain it. It has a billion notes, I can't list all of the notes. I'm definitely getting like grapes, I'm getting, I'm getting so many fruits. I'm getting some blood orange, I'm not even sure if it's like blood orange. It's the raspberries, the apple, but all of them, they're like, Kind of like soaked in wine in a way i don't know I, it's not fermented fruits it's not fermented fruits do not be like don't think that because there are some fragrances that have like the same like wine um or like boozy fruits and they literally this one like fermented fruits and i'm like this one is disgusting it's not that it's fun it's this is gonna be amazing for spring and summer it's very strong again it's Lorenzo Pazzaglia, it's an extra du parfum, but when he says extra du parfum, it's usually the strongest perfume that you ever smelled. Oh, it's amazing, it's amazing, I love it, I love it. I, I didn't know about it, you know, like they didn't tell me that they're releasing a new one about um, Sun Explosion, sun, Sweet Explosion, sorry, Sweet Explosion and Sugar Kisses. I knew about them before they were released, but this one I had no idea, and they just saw like a bottle in there, and I was like, Are you guys releasing a new one? They were like, Yep, I was like, why you didn't tell me and then i saw that and i was like oh my god i need to try it uh so yeah love it and then another one that is one of the like best sellers and for some reason i never smelled it i was like can you smell carbonara and they were like literally they were looking at me like what do you mean like you don't have but carbonara you never smell car carbonara i was like no nah. just because i love pasta like come on who doesn't love pasta i love carbonara I don't want to smell like carbonara do you know what i mean so I, that's why we didn't bring the fragrance on the website that's why i didn't get a bottle for myself because i was like i don't want to smell like pasta this is carbonara from again lorenzo pasaglia it's not a new release why I, just why it gives you kind of the carbonara vibe but you're not gonna smell like pasta like this one has black pepper coconut rum vanilla sugar cane sandalwood what i'm getting with carbonara is this very very creamy it makes sense sandalwood coconut is very creamy fragrance and very peppery in the same time creamy peppery sweet fragrance this is what i'm getting it reminds you of carbonara but you don't smell like pasta it's amazing it's just something so sexy i like i love i love pepper black pepper pink pepper i love pepper in fragrances and this one is so smooth like peppery sometimes you know when it's like gives you tingles on your nose and like like it's, it's too much it doesn't have that it's very creamy oh it's beautiful it's absolutely beautiful and again peace mode like peace mode what do you expect moving on to another brand i do have 
another fragrance from this brand and now have two more i'm talking about epico this one is will be love as soon as i saw the notes i was like mm-hmm mm -hmm, that one is good let me tell you let's spray it here first look at that big sprayer love that will be love has some of the notes again uh milk cream mandarin orange coconut vanilla um caramel it's this creamy a bit creamy with orange but it's not mixing like the orange is separate it's not like mixing with the cream vanilla dessert sugar delicious thing this again I feel like for like summer evenings is that type of gourmand. It's not it doesn't have like tiari flower or anything, but it just gives me like summer evenings. If you're like a gourmand lover, it's definitely milky, creamy, sweet, and you're definitely getting that orange as well. Oh, it's good. It's good. And it's coconutty, but it's not too much coconut. It's yeah, it's delicious. Is that, is that too sweet? Like, don't think it's sugary sweet. It is sweet, but in like a milky, creamy way. It is sweet, but it doesn't have like, it's not sticky sweet. You know, when some fragrances, I love that as well, but that's sticky sweet. This one is not sticky sweet. Or like oily. It doesn't have that like oily thing. Sometimes coconut perfumes can be either like fresh coconut when, when or when it's like a sweet coconut, it's quite like oily. It's not that. It has this like milky whipped cream with orange and coconut and vanilla and caramel delicious what can i say for the summer evenings it's going to be amazing and the next one that actually i smelled ages ago frida again from epico frida frida it's a rose jasmine orange blossom with champagne okay and then I believe it has some blueberry, if I'm not wrong. Let me check. Yes, blueberry, peach, jasmine, champagne, rose, orange blossom, and a bit of musk. Because it's a bit musky in the base. Is that fun? It's not too fizzy. You're definitely getting like the champagne, but it's not too fizzy. It's not too much champagne. I would say it's not just rose. You can definitely smell like it's like a floral champagne-y fruity scent it's not just rose you're definitely smelling other flowers in there and you're getting the blueberry it's not just like straight on blueberry but you can smell some like berries in there you know and it's fun and it's fizzy and the champagne and it's yeah it's a beautiful beautiful this is like spring like it's gonna be amazing for the springtime super feminine fun but elegant in the same time really really like this one as well and now let's move on to a brand that is very uh, uh i was about to say affordable no it's very expensive okay it's very very expensive i discovered that exans and i was like i need this i need a, a bottle for myself and i need this on the website we got extremely extremely limited quantity because it's very expensive okay i know it's very expensive uh but the fragrances i only got two only two fragrances because i said let's see how it works but the fragrances are just this is i profumi del marmo and the first one we're having um travertino the cup it's only a 50 ml the cup is very 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 heavy and that's because this one is marble okay uh like it's expensive but a lot has been put into the packaging so if you're in, if you're someone that cares about thing, things like this this one it's a marble cup like actual marble now i have this one and another one both of them extremely gourmands this one just <laughs> let me tell you some of the notes apple plum um, peach coconut cinnamon coffee cacao chocolate vanilla tonka bean sandalwood you're mainly getting the cacao the chocolate 
vanilla tonka and sandal wood, like all of those, you're getting all of those straight away. But then you're getting kind of like a fruitiness as well. It's very chocolatey, but in the same time, it's not just chocolate, like all of the other notes are just giving like something extra. Like is that, is, you're not going to smell apple. You're not going to smell the peach in it. Like when I smell it, I don't smell the peach, but I smell different fruity notes and like different notes. Like it's a worm tonka bean, the cacao. It's beautiful. Oh, this is unbelievable delicious. The notes, by the way, notes on Fragrantica are wrong. I had to go on the official website and get the notes from there because notes on Fragrantica are wrong. Oh, it's... That's why I was like, it's very, 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 very expensive, but it's just too good not to take a list of your bottles. Maybe some of you are going to want this one because it's unbelievable delicious. It's unbelievable delicious. Oh, it's amazing. Absolutely love it. Uh, travertino travertino amazing and the next one from the same brand uh, this one is arabescato arabescato again marble cup it's a cherry i know another cherry but it's not another cherry let me show you let me spray it in here this one is cherry strawberry peach pineapple marshmallow vanilla sandalwood again has other notes but these are the main ones for me this one smells exactly like a cherry marshmallow it has that powderiness it has that like bouncy you know like with some strawberry maybe a bit of pineapple as well but it's mainly a cherry marshmallow so not boozy cherry not cherry cherry marshmallow with lots of strawberries and a bit of pineapple this is what I'm getting. Oh, that texture, that marshmallow texture is so realistic. It's so beautiful. It's so good. It's, I know again, they're very expensive, so I'm not telling you sell a leg to buy a fragrance, no. Um, but if you have the found, you need to try it. Like it, it's, it's good, that good, that good. Like those two gourmands are, whoo, 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 whoo. Unbelievable good. Now three more fragrances all of them super super appropriate amazing for spring and summer the first one from music de parfum we have c c i actually really like this one in Cannes as well c it's a beautiful bright floral scent that's gonna be amazing for the springtime c has mandarin orange uh, lemon saffron rose iris gardenia vanilla for me is kind of mixed between the gardenia and the rose you're definitely getting the iris because it's a bit powdery okay saffron makes it a bit airy but you're not getting that like mandarin orange lemon that makes it extremely bright it's not a citrusy fragrance it's more like a bright flower type of fragrance it's such a beautiful, it's like ivory, it's a bit powdery from the iris, but you're getting the rose, you're getting the gardenia. And you, and then you have that brightness from the citruses. And it's airy from the saffron. It's such a beautiful, like pretty, feminine, everyday type of scent. Um, again, spring, summer, especially spring. I feel like for the springtime, this one is going to be amazing. Uh, but yeah, Music de Parfum, C. If you like flower perfume, floral perfumes, if you're into... Very feminine scent. I'm sure you're gonna love that one. And the next two, uh, one of them is more unisex and very fresh, and I loved it immediately. Vitias from Per Noir. Actually, I I love it, and my partner loves it as well. So when we went to Exans, actually, I made him like a big decant of this one because he was like, I need to wear that. It smells amazing. Vitias has some of the notes: ambergris, lime, pink pepper, bergamot, sea notes. It's definitely a freshy, it has some sea nose, but when I say it smells like the sea, like it doesn't smell like, sometimes sea can be a bit green and dirty. No, it doesn't have that. You're definitely getting the amber grease, you're getting the pink pepper. I think it has black pepper as well. It's kind of like a peppery freshy, which I love. Because freshies for me, if it's just 
a freshy is too boring but this one is like a peppery freshy with some ambergris as well it's very long lasting as well and just it's an excellent parfum i believe all of them are excellent parfum does it say i cannot I can have it, uh, but I'm 99.99% 99 .99 sure that I accept parfum because I'm very strong. So yeah, BTS, again, if you're into like a different freshie, it's unisex, maybe leaning slightly masculine, but personally, I love it for myself as well. And the last one, and it's really new, like I got it yesterday and it was released like a few days ago from Room 1015. This one is Wave Child. When I saw the notes, I was screaming because it has orange, lemon, watermelon. Yes, you heard me correctly. Watermelon, coconut, ambergris, cacao. You can definitely smell the watermelon. You can smell the watermelon. It's watermelon with like a bit of orange. Watermelon is the main note. And then you're getting the other notes as well. And the ambergris and the cacao, I wrote them down because I can kind of smell them in the base. Like, it's not just watermelon, that's it. Like, it's definitely perfumey. It does smell just like you put watermelon on yourself. Like, you are eating watermelon and you, like, put it in... It doesn't smell like that. It's definitely perfumey, but the main note, it's watermelon. Which is a note that... I only have another fragrance that is strong on the watermelon. Uh, but normally, it's a note that is not really used in fragrances. Yeah, you're getting a bit like that orange element with watermelon. It's a perfumey watermelon fragrance. I love it. It's such a fun fr fragrance. I feel like room 1015, like that, their fragrances are a bit more like serious or like sexy or like this is fun. This is literally just a fun fragrance. Wave child, yeah, it's that childish, but it's not like too serious. It's definitely a fun fragrance, you know, like watermelon. Come on. You're not gonna wear a watermelon fragrance to like the office. I would, but maybe you should not. Um, but yeah, new release. If you're into watermelon fragrances, try this one, Room 1015, Wave Child. Um, and that is it. This was the last fragrance, I believe. Yep, that was the last fragrance. Let me know. Let me know in the comments down below if you're excited about the new releases, like um, Sangria, Wave Child, if you tested any of the other perfumes I've mentioned. Let me know in the comments down below. And are you tired? Are you tired of my hauls? I'm sorry if you are. I just have too many new releases and new fragrances. I need to share them with you. Like, brands are not pressuring me. Like, don't think like they're giving you like a date or they're telling you, oh, you need to post. No, like, with 90% of the brands that I work with, I have a very, very good relationship. I'm saying 90 because the other 10 maybe we just started working and I don't know how that's gonna go so far very well. Uh, but no brand ever like pressure me to post something or to... I, if I don't like it, I don't like it, so I don't post it. Uh, but the ones I have in here, I really, really like. And yeah, there's some good ones. There's some very, very, very good ones, especially. Look at that cup. Just look at that cup. It's all, it's marble. Like, I was like, ooh, okay. I was like, this cup is nice. And it's told me, it's marble. I was like, I understand now why. Why people like expensive things. Anyway, that was it for today. Let me know in the comments down below, okay, what you think. And obviously, if you like this video, don't forget, please don't forget to give the big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and like always, I'm going to see you guys in my next one. Bye-bye.